Welcome back, history enthusiasts. In our history video on World War II, we focus on the German parachutists. First, we look at their difficult training, and then we will shed light on one of the largest missions on Crete. The training of a paratrooper began with intensive basic training, characterized by discipline and physical fitness. From the beginning, it was clear that only the strongest and bravest would make it. The rigorous training was aimed at forming a unit that could operate under extreme conditions. On the tarmac, the paratroopers learned the intricacies of the jump process. These exercises were crucial for later missions. The soldiers practiced leaving the aircraft at different altitudes and weather conditions. Every step had to be perfect. Every grip had to be perfect. The movements were repeated until they were automated. Preparing the equipment was vital. Each parachute was carefully checked and packed to avoid fatal errors. The parachutes had to work reliably under extreme conditions. The paratroopers learned to pack their equipment blind to be safe even in stressful situations. Practice jumps were a central part of the training. From the first jump to routine execution, each jump strengthened the soldiers' skills and confidence. They had to adapt to different heights and conditions in order to be ready for an emergency. The first jumps were often associated with fear, but with each subsequent jump, confidence in their own abilities and equipment grew. Paratroopers learned to remain calm and focused in the air, even under difficult conditions. The training process was designed to prepare them for all eventualities. The long, intensive training phases ensured that the soldiers remain calm and could act precisely even under pressure. Every exercise, every jump was another step towards perfection. At the academy, the paratroopers received comprehensive training. From physical fitness to tactical exercises, each soldier had to demonstrate mental and physical endurance Landing with heavy equipment was a particular challenge. Paratroopers not only had to land safely, but also be ready for action immediately. These exercises were crucial to being able to operate efficiently in operations. The heavy equipment made landing more complicated and required additional skill and strength to land safely and be immediately ready for combat. May 1941. German paratroopers prepared for one of their greatest challenges, the capture of the Greek island of Crete. Operation Mercury was a risky airborne operation. The Allied defenders, mainly British, Australians and New Zealanders, were well prepared. 
resulting in heavy casualties among the paratroopers. There was a tense silence on board the transport planes. The planes flew low, and the tension grew as they approached the island. The soldiers checked their equipment once again and waited for the signal to jump. The jump over Crete was risky. Enemy fire and the difficult terrain made landing difficult. Many landed under fire and had to quickly take cover. Due to the drop tactics, many paratroopers were initially only lightly armed, as they had to retrieve their equipment from dropped containers, which were often difficult to find. After landing, the troops formed up and prepared for the upcoming battle. The paratroopers readied their weapons and took up strategic positions to surprise the enemy. The tension was palpable, and everyone waited for the order to attack. The fighting for Crete was intense and fierce. The paratroopers encountered tough resistance. The battle lasted several days, and every decision could affect the fate of the soldiers involved. Despite heavy losses, the paratroopers fought on. It was vital to capture at least one airfield to secure the urgently needed supply of weapons and ammunition. Maleme airfield was well defended by New Zealand troops. However, a mistranslation of the order to hold the height at all costs resulted in a strategically important hill being abandoned by the defenders, allowing the capture of the first airfield. Operation Mercury demonstrated the bravery of the soldiers involved. However, it is important to remain aware of the responsibility and crimes of the Nazi regime and never forget them. These events shaped later warfare and highlighted the risks of airborne operations behind enemy lines.